Okay, we started. We're, we're in the recording. We've, we're doing it. Hello, everybody, oh, and sick. welcome. Welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. We are here again with Never Named. It's, He's been... it's not really mega modded without Once More Into the Breach. Well, it's true. Say. So, Once More Into the Breach isn't working at the moment uh, because yeah, Never Named broke I'm working, everything. I'm working on a fix, I'm working on an update, and it's taking a while. But, anyways, uh, but we're going to play the game with lot... the mods we have and enjoy ourselves. It should be a lot better when I'm actually able to finish the stuff. We're gonna grab some so, uh, stuff. I'd say it's worth the sacrifice, and you know, it gives Turtle a couple of videos of being able to see stuff from other mods. I mean, to be fair, I, I am using e me. I am using Equilibrium, so I see stuff from other mods, anyways. He hates me. He hates. That's as, why he has Equilibrium. He hates as, me. As I was saying in the previous video, I think the biggest advantage of Equilibrium isn't specifically getting to see stuff from other mods. It's just that every modded item, or like a v vast majority, have synergies with vanilla items. So if you do, if you do have too many mods on, you very rarely see vanilla items, and it means that you don't really see many I, synergies. <laughs> I think that's incorrect. I I would say it's, it's correct because I've had plenty of times where I haven't seen like any synergies in the entire room. Yeah, but that's just normal. Synergies aren't very common. Mmm, I would not say that's true. I'd, I'd say in the vanilla game, oh, what the hell is this? Ooh. Um, I'd say in the vanilla game, I get like two to three synergies every run. How does this work? One. Oh, I missed I think it you have to hit. You have to hit all the reloads. It's, it's, it's kind of like the turbo gun, I think, but more fun. Oh, I missed the last one. I guess it does look like the turbo gun, so that makes sense. Oh, ho, ho, I missed the last one again. I think it might still give you like a damage up. Hey, I did it. Without needing to get all of them. Okay, it doesn't even one-shot a bullet kin. This gun's trash. I'm joking. What the hell's this? Hooded shells. Giant slayer. Prismatism. Does more da damage to enemies with high or max HP. That's pretty good. I like that. A prismatism item that isn't just a jerk. Surprising. But yeah, I am also playing Turbo Mode. Seriously, now. is is scary. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm also playing it's Turbo Mode now as well, which I have for the past few episodes, and it is jarring. I haven't played Turbo Mode for like a year, so I'm really not used to it. Okay, that gun's too also, I'm... complicated for me to use. My brain's too small. I'm still kinda coming down from a cold. I'm, I'm like 90% better, but I saw this annoying cough. No worries, just so cough I've, very I've... loudly into the mic. It'll be fine. No, I've. I've already coughed twice, and I've just muted myself, and you haven't even noticed. I haven't. I didn't even notice at all. You did a good job covering it. Yeah, I'm such I'm such a good co-host. You're such a bad co-host, though. You should really give me the control. Oh, I know. I should. I should be the co-host. You should be the yeah. main host. Hell yeah. It's Everyone now never in this channel. To Everyone be fair, at some point there is going to be a, a channel for specifically me and never named. I just haven't got around to making it yet. Yeah, because he insists he wants to do it, but he's too lazy to do it. I am. See, the, the bit that's making me lazy about it is actually a bit that I don't even need to do, and I'm just imposing on myself, and it's making me not want to do it, because it's going to take a while. But I, I want to I wanna re-upload the entire Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 series onto that channel, so that so they're like all in one place. But I just, it's going to take a lot of time to do that. We still need to finish Half-Life. We, yeah, we, was, we got like halfway through episode, uh, halfway through episode one, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to give you like a recap. Yeah, I just said, I have literally no idea what happened. Um, I remember there was a bit where Dog put us in a van and threw us at something. Yeah. Um. Snareable. Like, I think that's just slowing shot, isn't it? The reason why we haven't been able yeah. to record as much is because this fucking idiot, right? Went and got himself promoted. I did. I actually have a real job now where I do things. Yeah. This I, did, I, I didn't shit. even. I, I didn't even Went specifically. And got a so I didn't even specifically get a promotion. Just my my old boss is no longer my boss anymore. I still work for the same company, but I have a different boss now. And my new boss is a lot more proactive about making sure that everyone's doing stuff, which is good because like. It, mean, it means the job is more interesting and I'm more engaged. But at the same time, it does mean I have less time for this. 
But at yeah. the same time, it is my job, so I can't really complain. <laughs> it just doesn't make time for me anymore. I'm sorry that you're a little hermit and don't have a job. You've got to get a job as he well, and it's and he, fine. And he, he compensates for, by bullying me. Yeah, I do, I do. And I, I retaliate by bullying him. I pretend to be his dad and, and shout at him for not having a job. Right. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, I do want to do more stuff like Half-Life with you, but time constraints are annoying. Yeah, I mean, and the, the sort of biggest problem with those games is we... They're not really great to sit down and play for just an hour. And a lot of the time I only have like an hour. Especially on weekdays. I mean, I mean to be fair, if we had just like sat down and played for an hour... Uh, like every couple of days... Yeah, we, we would get through it, but I feel like the games just, like, they flow better if you just play them in, like, bigger settings. And that's why you you don't play Elden Ring. <sighs> I, at the minute, I, I I haven't played Elden Ring in, like, a month, and I'm sad about it. It's, it's, it's actually been more than a month. Do you remember, like, do, do you remember, like, last month when we just, when Ooh, we were just, room, like... Room. Oh, oh, never mind. Do you remember last month when mm -hmm. we were, like, chatting for, like, four hours, five hours? That yeah. was the last time I played it. Ah, oh, damn. I just, I want to play it. It's a game that I fucking love. But every single time I go to play it, I'm like, do I have three hours? Because if I don't, it's not worth playing. Because I don't want to just sit down and play it for a little bit. I want to get into it. I want to turn the lights down. I want to fucking light some candles. You know, you want to, <laughs> yeah. It, it's, that, that is a problem. And that's something that is really annoying when you get into that mentality. Because I explained it to you at the time. I've had that mentality with... Uh, YouTubers before where I want to watch videos by someone because I think they're really good videos but I'm like am I ready for how good these videos are? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll watch them later and You've ended up just no, stopping just watching don't... them all together, yeah. Yeah, because It's, it's a really, completely... really annoying thing. I don't know like what, what you'd call the phenomenon but I do it a lot where it's like I have so many good games that I really want to play so much so that I don't end up playing any of them. So it looks like once we're into the breach is still kind of working. All the rooms are... Oh, no, yeah, because yeah, it uses a uh, custom rooms mod, of course. Yeah. All the rooms from once we're into the breach Just the items are still aren't functioning. Sure exactly. But yeah, like, I feel like I have plenty of good games that I really want to play, and I just put them off because... I and, and I end up going and playing something like Call of Duty that's just, like, an easy game to play that I can, like, watch YouTube while I'm playing and stuff. Because it's like, it doesn't take a lot of focus and I, don't, I feel like I can play it for half an hour and be fine. But like all the good games, I feel like I have to commit time to and so I don't play. And it, it's really bad. Look, you better not hit this turtle. I don't think I you will. Gotta focus. You gotta focus on trying to dodge the, the mini boss so that Bunny will be happy. How's that? You did, you, you did it. Even though you still had a powerful gun, so funny. So this is a once more of the breach item, so I guess it, it's like, it's half functioning. That's terrifying. Oh actually. god, I love those. They're so cool. The idea of a mod half functioning and the idea of hot code <laughs> that half works is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> you, we have no idea what will happen. There's going to be some crazy shit going down. I, in the last episode, you said you watched it. Did I not get a single once more into the breach item or good? No, you didn't. Alright. Hmm. What I think might be happening is it's entirely possible that like the because a mod has to initialize things one by one. And if it breaks halfway through, a mod can end up with half the stuff initialized. Oh god, that's even worse, So yeah. it's, it's entirely possible that half the once more into the breach items are there, and the other half aren't. I thought you meant like half of one item's code would work and the other half wouldn't, which is way worse. Maybe, but it's entirely possible you're just playing with like less stuff. And the then e and then equilibrium's making it rarer as well, so we're just not yeah. seeing it as much. Exactly. I do think I'm I am very pleasantly surprised at how well equilibrium has worked because I I was worried as as were you that when it, when we first saw equilibrium that it would mean that I'd just rarely see your items anymore or I'd like it kind of really take down how much we see them. But I still feel like I see your items more like a good amount. It's just not only yours anymore. My thing with Equilibrium is, 
I'm personally insulted and I feel sad. <laughs> no, um... Ah, oh, fuck. I, I have this worry that a mod adds, like, 15 new items. It'll balance balance those into being ridiculously common. Yeah, that that was my only concern. It needs to I need to turn on the the dynamic version. I think that's one thing that I should do. I still haven't done that yet. Um but you lazy cunt. I know. Um but uh, I do agree that is one concern that if someone makes a mod that has four items in it, are those four items gonna keep showing up? I don't think that's yeah. the case. I think Bunny has made sure because I did when he when he initially floated the idea by me, I did say to him, make sure that doesn't happen. So I don't know if he did. Bunny, Bunny is a good programmer. Yeah, so. exactly. I, I, I'm I'm sure he's at least thought about it and is going to look into it later on if he hasn't already. Okay, so this is another once per under the breach item. So again, yeah, I think it is half functioning. Maybe it's just the items. It's just. It's just brief uh, lead skin oh, when you flip a table. What the hell is this? A uh, book of Tome of Guanmancy. I think it, like, turns pickups into Gion stones. Captures nearby bullets and turns them into defensive oh, orbitals, despite bullets. being long forgotten. Hmm. Give that a go, oh, I yes. guess. The, the scroll turns pickups into orbitals. It's kind of funny that I got that out of a... Orbitals. I got that out of a synergy chest because I have a single glass one stone. Yeah. The Holy Ghost. A good sprite. This is presentism, I think. Oh, oddments. 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 It is definitely still a um, lazy item. Lazy. Enemies have a chance to yeah. reanimate as hollow points. Ooh, that's really cool. Kind of like the um, thingy the d20 whatever that challenge is called challenge mode uh ghost in the shell ghost yeah. of the shell oh fuck it's okay that was really bad i tried it and uh i i got blapped for it holy shit he died quick those orbitals are spicy <laughs> shell of the mountain no matter how steep it is, the bullets climb to the top to slay with to, to stay level with their foes. Literally no that idea says what that means. Jack shit. Yeah. There is absolutely no reference to what this item actually does. I didn't see my stats change either, so we are completely in the dark on what the hell that does. I'm guessing maybe it's like like that other item we have from Prismatism, where higher enemies health, the more damage we do. Because to stay on level with their foes makes sense, right? Maybe. Ooh, sludge. Curses are still working. Yay! Oh, you bastard. How could you? I am uh, working on curses in the... Like I said, I'm working on an update. I'm also refining curses. Nice, yeah. Like, I am being more strict with how large the puddles are allowed to be. That is a number one priority for both the honey one and the sludge one. Because because the max was uh, seven tiles uh, radius, I yeah. think. Which... Uh, I always get my terms mixed up when I'm dealing with circles. Uh, Okay, yeah. I, I always get radius, diameter, and circumference confused. So, I was confusing radius and diameter. Yeah, to be fair, it's, a, it's seven, a little bit confusing. I was setting them to a seven tile radius, right? Mm. Which actually mean, but a radius is only from the center. And, it, and a circle goes in both directions from the center, so a seven-tile radius is a 14-tile diameter. Ah. <laughs> so you were just getting the maths a little wrong. Yeah. I thought it might have been a multiplication issue, but I rechecked that code and that, that wasn't it, so... I don't know. Oh, I do know now. That's the point. The point is, the, what I'm saying is that I know now. Yeah. Be careful of those uh, crates. Oh shit, there's another one below, I didn't even see. Yeah, you just walked right by I it. I did. 
I like the way that he made him not just like, oh, this is a thing that explodes. He made him actually like drop them grenades. That's really cool. Yeah, I really want to do some more placeables eventually, yeah, I, but they're I not a priority. They're really I, not a priority at the moment. Like, after playing Fiend Folio, I, I really think stuff like that is the stuff that adds so much flair and so much, like, life to the game. I really am considering at this point trying to get some of the people who did rooms for Fiend Folio be like, hey, have you heard of Enter the Gungeon? I, I'm going to say, to be fair, they must be absolutely fucking monsters at creating rooms, because, like... I know they have quite a few people, but, like, they're creating, like, thousands on thousands. I made, like, 200 rooms for Gungeon, and I was, like, tired. <laughs> I was like, this is too many. <laughs> yeah, and you haven't done it since. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it was, like, bit difficult work to make unique room layouts. And they're making thousands on thousands on thousands. I mean, I get it is easier to make unique rooms when you have unique enemies, You said, you said that like you were going to say something else afterwards. I did, but then I saw this weapon and stopped. But yeah, Ooh. I'm also um, changing uh, the uh, Curse of Infestation. What's that going to do now? Because yeah, that, that is another one that I didn't particularly like. It's mostly the same, but it, it scales a little bit with enemy health now. So Ooh. weaker enemies... Weaker enemies drop fewer bullets. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think the minimum is like, and it is still randomized. So uh, a bulletkin can drop zero to two bullets in the new system with a 50% chance to drop none. Yeah, okay, that's good. Because I, I do it by um, picking a random number between negative one and the cat which means that and spawning if the number is above so basically zero spawning that a number basically there's so two has, chances for it to, to spawn zero eventually yes yes and like that. it's that way as well like the max is four ball ads from stuff like gun nuts yeah I just said that was and always my it. issue with it that like you could kill small like a room for small enemies and you could create more enemies than were originally in the room yeah um, and also, uh, I added a little thing where if you kill a charmed enemy, it drops friendly bullets. Oh, that's goes. really cool. Throwing a bag of bullets is lovely. I was going to try and buy this boss chest, but I don't have enough money to buy all the keys. Rest in piss. Rest in piss. Anyways, you've been on an absolute bender of researching things. I'm sure you want to yes. talk about all of that. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Upon use turns into a passive. Oh. The, the passive makes it so that health cannot go above how much HP you had when you used it. Increase uh, Increases damage the less HP you have. This passive can be dropped. So it caps your HP but gives you a damage upgrade. I'll take it. Yeah, Why I not? have been doing a, a shit ton of research, because I do a lot of research he for does. my mod. He does. There is a, a channel in the Mod the Gungeon Discord called Excess Research that is basically stuff that he has researched but is not looking to use currently. And my god, my god, there's so much in there. It's insane. It's actually insane. There's so much in there. Yeah, I made Turtle aware of it when I found a nuclear bomb with the same name as his girlfriend. <laughs> he, I just got an app message and it was like, bomb called Katie. I was like, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I realized I realized in, in hindsight that that probably seemed a bit insulting. <laughs> it wasn't insulting. I was just confused. I was just like, um, like I, I, all I, right. I was in bed later that night and I was like, hmm. Maybe implying that Turtle's girlfriend is a volatile nuclear explosive was not a good idea. Although, calling someone, like, the bomb means that they're good, so... Yeah, but calling someone a nuclear device <laughs> is not. It's like, man, you're so cool. You're totally an unstable nuclear warhead, man. Damn, are you holed up in a U.S. missile silo since the Cold War? Because you're the boss. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite have a simpler. Oh my god. 
Turbo mode, once I get to this floor, just shits on me. <laughs> like, the, the previous few floors I'm normally fine with, but once I get to this floor, I just start getting absolutely destroyed. Trick shot. I want that so bad. Although, Holy Grail is quite, quite good. So, basically, when my computer was broken, and holy shit, before we started recording, I did something so stupid, and I almost, like, pissed out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be bad if you're almost um, pissed out of fear. I I dropped my microphone on my laptop. Oh god. Nothing broke, but my heart froze. Cause I've just gotten it back, and if I broke it again, so, I was going to like die. Can we just take a general consensus on this about how big of a dumbass Nevernamed is? Um so Nevernamed decided to get his laptop fixed on warranty, which is fine, but Everyone knows this could be slow. He was accepting of the fact that it'll be slow. But then... Oh god, this room's difficult. Uh, but yeah, then... I was, I was accepting it would be slow, but not months long. Slow. Yeah. But anyways, oh my god, this room's so hard. <laughs> I love but those type of turrets. I really like them as well. Uh, uh, no, I don't have anything to do this with. Fuck. Break it, come on. Don't be a pussy. Oh, we got a gun out of it at least. Russian um, revolver. But anyways, um, yeah, so bit, bit, bit of a bad decision to go through warranty, but it saves you a good amount of money and it took longer than it should have done anyways. It wasn't really your fault. But he gets his laptop back and um, the dumbasses that were fixing his um, motherboard, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. Um, managed the, to the somehow... charging. So what had actually happened, the charging port had come, had been, had broken. But the charging port was directly connected to the motherboard, is how it was explained to me. Yeah. So they couldn't replace the charging port without replacing the motherboard. Yeah. But yeah, so he'd, he'd taken it to an to like an IT shop, and they they sent it off to warranty, and they were handling basically the communications with the warranty people. They were doing all that for him, which was really good. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so he got the the um, people at the uh, IT shop got it back, and it turns out the dumbasses when fixing the motherboard had broken the backlight on the keyboard, which. For anyone that's like even slightly hardware savvy, should know that that is a really, really simple fix. Um, like you can probably look up a YouTube tutorial and have a screwdriver in your hand and you can fix it. And fair enough, you didn't want to fix it because you don't want to go opening up your laptop. That's fair enough. But I was like, okay, cool. He said, oh, I'm going to send it back to them um, in uh, like tomorrow. I was like, cool, cool. Send it back to them tomorrow. I thought he meant send it, send it back to the IT guys at the shop that can probably fix it for free or like 10 pounds because it's a super easy fix. No, no, no. Nevernim sent it back to the warranty people and they broke it again. They tried to fix the backlight, didn't they break the motherboard again? Yes. Yeah, they were trying to fix the backlight they... on a keyboard and they broke the motherboard. I literally don't even yeah. know how that's possible. They blamed it on faulty parts, but I don't believe them. No, I don't, I don't believe that at all. Um, so, basically, Nevernamed waited two months to get his laptop back and then essentially could have had it back the day later if he'd just let the people at the shop fix the backlight. But instead he sent it back on warranty and it took forever. And I think he's a bit of a silly goose for sending it back to the warranty so people, no, considering how long they'd understand. already taken. I don't understand computer maintenance, man. I just don't trust myself. No, I don't they trust said, myself either, but like... Send it, we can don't send, send it, it to back warranty. to the warranty people. Because it's their responsibility, and it'll be the s and if we don't send it back, it'll be considered the same ticket. And then if something else breaks, it could be considered our fault, and that sort of thing. I still think. Oh, they deal contact damage. Okay. Well, no shit, they do. That's their whole purpose: is to sit there and be annoying. I thought the whole purpose was to shoot you when you break them. I am going to die again on the fourth floor. It seems to be a very consistent thing yeah. with me currently. How about how about you um, put that big boy brain of yours to work and use your blanks and actually focus on the video game? Um, using blanks before the boss? No, thank you. If I would rather I would rather I would rather die. I would rather die than live. To be no. fair, we're only 24 minutes in. If I die on this floor, I'll just do another run. Actually, yeah, with, you said you might. Uh, never mind, never mind. My brain just completely died and I forgot what I was talking about. As usual. Nice. This guy's gonna kill me. He's gonna do this bullshit. You have fucking you have stupid five attacks. Blanks. 
You have five blanks. I do, but I won't be able to use them because my brain is small. Blank Brute is doing work. It really is, yeah. I was wondering what that was for a while. I was like, do I have to rumor and I'm just like automatically activating it? But no, yeah, you are right. It's blank boots. Yeah. Thank God the dispenser is fucking hot shit. I've actually considered making a um parody of the dispenser in my own mod called the dropper. <laughs> nice. That like just because uh, the dispenser is obviously from Minecraft. And in Minecraft, there's an alternative dispenser. I don't know why I'm explaining this, because everyone knows. Uh, but called the dropper that just drops the item on the floor instead of firing the projectile. And I was thinking it would be funny if um, I made a dropper that, like, shits out ammo boxes onto the floor that just sort of sit there and deal damage to enemies that walk <laughs> over them. Oh, do you know what you should do? You should do it like the, uh, the challenge mode thing where it creates a little circle around the ammo box. And if, if the enemies are stood in the radius, they take damage. I'll, uh, maybe. Maybe. Obviously, it doesn't need to be as big as the ones in challenge mode, because the, the radius in those is huge. That'd be cool. But yeah, the, uh, this thing took a while to, to get fixed, because I was dealing with incompetence. Yep. And I was one of the incompetents. <laughs> you were one of the incompetent parties. Yeah. Sadly. Who knows? We were talking about the amount of research I've been doing. Yeah. Um, I have been fucking obsessed because with the upcoming one for the breach update, I I wanted to do, put a bit more emphasis on real weapons from history because I felt like that was kind of lacking in in mods because Gungeon also doesn't put like care too much but there is a good few of them already yeah so it's like yeah, nice to expand like the, that the, the, the m1911 the, Col the m1 the cult 18 the, the cult 1984 i don't remember what, what actual numbers. year it is it's like the cult 19 oh shit run run panic that's scary yeah what the hell Uh, so, I wanted to put more emphasis on actual historical weapons, so I, I did some research into stuff like the, uh, from just, like, anything and everything I could find. From, like, the Garucha, to the powder, to the... I'm waving my hand in the air trying to think <laughs> of something else, because as, mu as much research as I've done, I can't remember off the top of my head. Do you just have this, like, massive binder full of research? I have a notebook. Actually, that's a lie. I have, like, three. Because I've filled two. <laughs> Goddamn. I mean, at least, but, like, whenever you get round to, like, making your own roguelike game or making your own whatever game, you've got a lot to go on. If you want to use yeah. anything from this. One minute. I need to pause. Okay, we're back. I just had to have two enormous sneezes. <laughs> yeah, he sneezed in my ear really loud. It was really hot. I did. It was really hot. Oh, there's another one coming. Oh, God. I don't know what's happening. I'm dying. I've given you my my cold. You have. Somehow. You've literally come out of nowhere. Maybe it's hair fever. The window is open. How is he, how is he shooting through walls? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> I forgot to pause for that one. Shit. Uh, I don't know. I'm very confused. What the hell? <laughs> He's a wizard. I think you broke something. Wait. I know what it is. What? It's the Guon tone. So, this is something I think it's I think it's a problem with pooling, right? Because okay. uh, Gungeon does this thing that's really cool to stop uh, to to try and cut down on lag with with attacks that spawn a lot of bullets. Because spawning a lot of things in a short amount of time in Unity is a recipe for a shit ton of lag. Think behind you, think behind you. Yeah, I got it. I got uh, it. It's a recipe for lag. Yeah. And to prevent this, Gungeon does something called pooling, 
where uh, instead of when a bullet hits a wall in Gungeon, it isn't destroyed. <clears throat> it gets cool. You think pools? Which means it's like cool, like a swimming yes. pool. Yes. Okay. I thought you were saying cold at first, like calling. Cool. Is my audio quality really that bad? No. I can hear you, I can hear you. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just dumb. Um, so, what this means is it goes into like a, a pool uh, outside of reality, essentially, uh, in the game world, where it gets stored. And then, when another enemy wants to fire a, a bullet of the same type... It just utilizes it, that bullet instead. Yeah. <sighs> if one already exists in the pool, it just takes one from there. And that, um, sorry, that, that helps cut down on lag because you're not really creating new bullets for huge attacks. You're just moving things that already exist in the world. Yeah. Which probably gives them health. Uh, but what this means is if you don't if you do something that changes an enemy bullet somehow and you don't forget to turn off cooling it can that bullet can go back into the pool and then be fired again by an enemy with those modifications mm, okay so basically it was trying to reuse a bullet that had a modifier on it that it shouldn't have had and therefore it was able to go through walls yes that's what i think is was happening Oh, I don't it's know happening specific... to all enemies. It's happening to all enemies, because they just shot through walls as well. Yeah. Now, my best guess is that when the tome turns bullets into orbitals, it gives them something that, like, allows them to travel through walls, because it makes sense in that case. But I think what might be happening is that it doesn't forget to turn off pooling for the bullets you capture. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, just, a, just an idea, a thought. That's pretty interesting I when that Gungeon does that. When I was working on, I mean, that's how stuff like the Bullet King and Gorgon can do huge bullet hell attacks without lagging the game. Because they're just reusing the same bullets over and over. Yeah. And, uh, I had this issue with, when I was working on companionized enemies, where, like, stuff like uh, Calibur's Eye turns enemies into friends. Uh, the problem was that I would turn a bullet yellow, uh, and then it would be pulled, and then enemies would start firing yellow bullets. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, the same thing happened with the Gunjura's Star, uh, gun I made, which is a, a gun that basically spawns an enemy bullet script because I'm too stupid to make a, a gun that does that on its own. I just created a bullet script. You going to bullet hell? Might as well. <clears throat> yeah. Well, sayonara. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, like you were saying about reusing bullets, is this why when, as a player, if you have a synergy that makes you fire a lot of bullets, it lags the game really bad. But when enemies are firing a lot of bullets, it doesn't. Yeah, pretty much. Interesting. And it's why things like duct taped guns are going to add a lot more lag because it's impossible for them to reuse all the bullets. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think player uh, stuff pulls at all. It uh, it does seem that way because player bullets seem to lag a hell of a lot more. But yeah, so my oh dear, hmm? oh is the game just not responding? It's just not responding. It's fine. Don't worry. It'll, it'll, it'll All work. right, <laughs> it'll get there. So, um, the Gundra's staff. It, what it basically does is it it spawns a Gundra attack out of thin air and makes it yours. So it's technically using enemy bullets, and so I t was having problems with those bullets pooling. 
which meant that enemies would start randomly firing your bullet modifiers back at you. Yeah, that's not great. Especially with, like, bouncy if, bullets and stuff. If you had explosive rounds, for example, that enemy would... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Would... It would get pulled with the explosive modifier and then regurgitated out of an enemy at a later point. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, and I think that might be what's happening with the walls. That makes sense. I do think we're probably stuck. It's looking likely. You're stuck. Yeah. It seems to be that we it's have... not going to load Bullet Hell. Well, we have a... You know, this is a fitting conclusion. <laughs> it is. But also, the video is only 35 minutes long, so... Should we just sit and chat one? for a bit? <laughs> yeah, we could just do another one. That'd probably be a better idea. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, regardless. I was going to just die in bullet hell pretty much straight away either way, so it kind of worked out. Yeah. But yeah, hope you guys and enjoyed. He gets to, like, rot. Actually, no, he's... This is bullet atheism. <laughs> Instead of going to hell, he just sits in a dark void forever. <laughs> just fucking endless nothingness. Anyways, yes. I hope you guys enjoy this endless nothingness. If you want to witness this forever just mute the video and play this bit on loop then you can just sit here for hours it'd be great yep. anyways hope you guys Real enjoyed see you guys in the next of one. what death is like <laughs> yep my videos akin to actual death yeah no i the whole reason why i interact with turtle is that he reminds me of my mortality <laughs> and Every the futility of existence makes him, makes him remember how close he is to death and i hope it does yes. for all of you as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye